All right, as you already know, it is Father's Day this Sunday, and I just want to give you my opinion on how you can show your partner some love. Now, I do want to be empathetic to anyone who is in an unhealthy or unsafe relationship. I don't want you to misunderstand this message. My intent is not that you should continue being selfless to someone who is hurting you or that you should keep bending over backwards for people who don't bend for you. That's not what I teach on this channel. So in regards to Father's Day, let's just say this. To whatever degree you want to show him love or prioritize him this Sunday or going forward, that's what I want to help with. If you're still resentful that he did absolutely nothing for you on Mother's Day a couple weeks ago and you're planning on returning the favor, that's completely your choice. I would probably feel the same way. But there are some of you out there that have messaged me and said, how can I best support the man in my life? So this message is for those people who are in safe, reciprocal relationships. So these are my quick tips on how your man might feel loved the most. Now, every guy's different. These are generalizations. And a lot of you will notice these tips don't have a gender. Most women would love these too. So just use these in combination with actually asking him which of these he likes the most. Most of these are just ideas off of my personal list. So please write in the comments some of your ideas as well. Okay, number one, no surprise, physical affection. I love it when I come home and Emily gives me a big hug like she's actually excited to see me. I can't think of a better way to reunite with my partner. I also love it when she touches me for no reason at all. It's a nice reminder that she's still thinking about me or desires me. This can include flirting, this can include kissing, it can also include initiating some sexy time, but a lot of this is non-sexual in nature and all of it fills my love tank equally. Two, look for ways to defer to his judgment. Men love it when you think they're competent. I'm not saying I'm competent. I'm saying I love it when Emily acts like I am. When she says, babe, hey, can you help me fix this? I mean, we talk so much about men just listening and not trying to fix a problem. And that's true. But sometimes we also like to fix a problem. Throw us a softball once in a while and just say, hey, what should I do in this situation? that makes us feel like you actually value what we have to say. Take driving, for example. Everyone's always getting on to men for getting lost and not stopping to ask for directions. How about just one time while you think he's getting lost and he says, oh man, I think I might've missed that turn. You just say, hey, I trust you. That's it. You don't nag him to stop and ask for directions. You don't use this to remind him that he's dumb. You just say, you know what? I'm probably gonna make it back home. Now, it might be seven minutes later than normal, but I have an opportunity to treat him with respect. I have an opportunity to defer to his judgment. I have an opportunity to build him up instead of just tear him down. And I can choose to say, you've always gotten me home up until this point, so you got this, babe. Now, if you hate the idea of doing this, that might be something worth exploring because you might be in an unhealthy relationship where you feel chronically neglected and you're seeing through a lens of pain, and rightly so. But I'm just asking you, as long as you're in a safe situation, what's the harm in using this as an opportunity to stay on the same team and tell him, hey, you got this. When's the last time you said that to him? Whatever it was, I bet he liked it. Three, look for ways to tell him that he's strong or safe. Tell him you feel safe around him. If he's got muscles, tell him they look good. He's probably worked hard on them. If he doesn't have muscles, like me, I'm just saying when Emily asks me to open a jar or unjam something with my manly strength. It's so cliche and stupid, but when I can pop open that jar and she gives me that look like, wow, you're strong. It's really dumb and it makes zero sense, but nothing makes me feel more manly than that. Four, take an interest in the things that interest him. Ask him about his car. Ask him about why he loves to play that specific video game. Ask him to explain it to you. Ask him about the stock market. I love talking about the stock market. But it's so boring to Emily, she literally only asks me to talk about it when she can't fall asleep. That's a true story. The only time we talk about the stock market is when she wants to use me for melatonin. My point is find something that he's excited about and share it with him. Go hunting with him, go fishing with him, and just make it a goal to find out more about why he loves it. Don't overwhelm him with questions, just play to your audience. If he's talking, if he seems excited, keep him talking, keep asking questions. If he seems like talking is like pulling teeth, then don't ask him any more questions. He's, he's not a talker, as you know. Five, brag about him in front of other people. If he fixed up the car, if he built something, if he got that promotion, if he's working hard on something, if you don't think he's gonna hate hearing his name, then tell people that you're proud of him. Tell people you notice his hard work and you think he's doing a great job. Even if he doesn't hear you, most men love to be appreciated for what they're actually getting right. In fact, we all love to be appreciated for what we're getting right and not just hounded for what we're getting wrong. I'm not saying shower him with fake praise. I'm just saying let's all open our eyes to the little things that our partner does do for us. 
All right, those are my tips. Thank you for listening. Happy Father's Day. For any men that made it to the end, please comment what I should have added. Thanks so much.